In this problem, we have a pipe as shown in the figure. Our goal is to determine the state of stress at point A on the cross section of the pipe. We will also show the results in a differential element at the point. To solve the question, we will first need to write the equation for the forces and the moments. Let's start with the forces. We know that the sum of forces in the z direction will be equal to zero. In the z direction, we have shear and we have the six kilonewtons, which is in the negative direction. So we will obtain shear at z direction as six kilonewtons. Let's move to the moments. The sum of the moments in the x direction will be equal to zero. We have mx minus six kilonewtons times 300 millimeters in the negative x direction. So it is minus. will be equal to zero again and mx will be equal to 1.8 kilonewton meters. Let's move to the sum of the moments in the y direction. In the y direction we will have a torque minus 6 kilonewtons times again 300 millimeters will be equal to zero, so that tau y will be equal to 1.8 kilonewton meters. We know that the normal stress will be equal to the moment times c over the moment of inertia. Shear stress caused by the torque will be equal to torque times c over the polar moment of inertia and shear stress caused by the shear shear times the first moment of area over the moment of inertia times t. to be able to calculate these stresses we will need to calculate the moment of inertia the polar moment of inertia and the first moment of area with respect to z-axis. So let's calculate them. First we can calculate the moment of inertia with respect to x. It will be equal to pi over 4 times the outer radius to the power of 4 minus the inner radius to the power of 4. And let's substitute the values. Our outer radius is 50 millimeters to the power of 4 minus the inner radius is 40 millimeters. So we will have 2.898 times 10 to the power of 6 meters to the power of 4. Let's calculate the polar moment of inertia now. It will be equal to pi over 2 times, again, the outer radius to the power of 4 minus the inner radius to the power of 4. Again, I, have, I am substituting the values. And it will be equal to 5.796 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meter to the power of 4. Finally, from the table at the end of the book, the first moment of area with respect to z-axis will be equal to y2 times the Second area minus y1 times 
times the first area. And from the table, we see that the equation is equal to 4 over 3 pi times 50 millimeters times pi over 2 times 50 millimeters square minus 4 over 3 pi times 40 millimeters times again pi over 2 times 40 millimeters square and then we will get 40.67 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meter cube. Now we can calculate the normal stress. The normal stress will be equal to the moment in the x direction times z over the moment of inertia. And it is equal to z is 0 over and this will be 0. Now let's calculate the shear stress caused by the shear and it will be equal to 6 kN times QZ which is 40.67 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meters cube over the moment of inertia again times T which is 100 minus 80 and it becomes 20 millimeters and tau B becomes 4.21 MPa. Finally, we have the shear stress caused by the torque and it is equal to 1.8 kN meters, which is the torque in y direction times 50 millimeters over the polar moment of inertia, which is 5.796 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meters to the power of 4. And in, it will be 15.53 MPa. When we combine these two shear stresses, we will obtain the total shear stress in the YZ plane and it will be equal to the shear stress caused by the torque minus the shear stress caused by the shear and it is 15.53 minus 4.21 and tau yz becomes 11.3 mpa since we know sigma and tau yz we can show them on a differential element now the normal stress is zero so we will only have the shear stress and it will be equal to 11.3 mp as you can see it is in the yz plane we can also write the stress as a matrix. All of our shear stresses and normal stresses except tau yz are zero. So our matrix will look like this.